YouTube! I am Penstar and this is Let's School Strategy and Tactics, Episode 6. So in our last episode, we uh, brought in a whole bunch more students, had to set up a whole bunch more classes, and wrangle all the schedules for them. But I think we're in a good position at the moment. Almost good. So... Yeah, this one class is a little bit too much for Sanat to handle. And it's not her fault. It's because they had that stupid event that makes the kids temporarily less manageable, which means the management requirements suddenly went up and suddenly she couldn't handle a class that's, that was buzzing about this new disruptive show. But I have an idea of what to do. So one thing we can do in our management thing is the management department is currently managing three classes. It's actually, this is the one class that it isn't. Um, what we might be able to do, I want everyone to get in and pay the extra five G's for extracurricular books today, but then we might be able to swap it to the mode that decreases management costs. Although that might just be for the management department here. So we, I mean, I think we're training up Santa. Hang on. Yeah, we just started training her in, in that, and she's close to that, so she's going to be in a dicey position, but only for a little bit. But anyway, let's get the let's get the kids in. Let's get them paying the five extra bucks for their books today. Man, in such a short time, we have a lot of kids, like a lot, a lot of kids. I didn't realize our numbers had gone up quite this much. But that's a good thing. Yeah, 20, 29 students, 10 teachers, 2 support staff. All right, so now that everyone's come in and paid their dues, let's, let's try this little experiment here. We're going to swap that management to sound judgment. And then what happens if we trade you for like this? You're still overloaded, but this management department can handle all four classes now, which is pretty nice, actually. Because now all four are getting the, the bonuses along with the reduced salary requirements. So yeah, that one class is gonna remain overloaded slightly, but not much we can do about that until training completes, oops. There isn't much we can do about that. Ruth! Oh yeah! Our new name in game patron! Brand new to the patron, Ruth K. Welcome to the name in game patrons. And for your first act of duty, you're going to break up this fight. Thank you very much for your support. If you want to be a name in game patron um, and uh, want to hop into this series as well as uh, uh, future series, then uh, take a look at the link below. My Patreon page has all the details. All right. We are, I am still going to keep an eye on things. What's this? Oh yeah, this is the one class that's overloaded. Even though it's overloaded, it doesn't look like the kids are in danger of failing, which is a good thing. And it seems they're doing pretty well paying attention, too. Well, granted, that was just homeroom. We'll see if there's any any uh, slackers. Aha! I gotcha! Shorty. Quit, quit yapping in class. Now, I mean, that's going to crop up from time to time, regardless. Aha! We got the infirmary. We don't necessarily have the money for the infirmary, but we've got the tack for it, at least. Now, what do we do next? We could go into... Um, these morning classes. These morning classes, one, are shorter to research but give us a one-two punch for these. Alternatively, we could go to like the bicycle shed because that will allow us to have a further outreach 
or some of our things. But you know what? I think we're going to go for this, and I think we're going to go... Yeah, we're going to do the si humanities and science. Oh, yeah, so uh, that and... Oh, we need one more student, and we can get our 600 bucks from here. We do have a graduation uh, goal here, too. But that's going to take some time, because we have to get kids through to... Will you... You are getting punished. Lena, break it up. It is important that you go and, and reprimand them or punish them or break it up because that increases the discipline, which prevents that from happening again. Aha! Sanat has the rudimentary, and now she is has enough uh, management chops to uh, handle this class and, and the unruly students within, which is good, which means no more penalties and no more stress for her and or discipline problems for the young'uns. What is... Oh, yeah, you're moderately stressed because you, up until recently, couldn't handle it, but now you can handle it. So just uh, just take a load off. Relax. Again, reprimand. Ah, so this student is naughty. This person, this student is, while they're not part of the bad track, you know, the wrong side of the tracks um, location, they are still going to be more problematic uh, in general, like. Hmm. Now, Andra, break it up for them. All right, so I think today should be, uh, oh, it's an earthquake. Oh no. Thankfully it's only a 3.0, but like, yeah, there, there goes all the, and because we don't have safety drills uh, for that, the kids have no clue what to do. So they're just running around in a, pla in a panic. Hopefully it doesn't break my $10,000 statue. Or, or you, you know, hurt any of the kids. That would be awful. Well, I admire your, uh, your, your dedication and your focus to training in the middle of an earthquake. <laughs> uh, students' uh, performance during the emergency evacuation was poor. Run more earthquake drills. Community has donated some money to fund the repair of damaged buildings for the construction of more earthquake-resistant buildings. 3000 bucks. Excellent. Something's happening downstairs? I understand the uh, skills give me urge to... Wow, the, the, uh, the community is... Yeah, we'll fix that up. Oh, the poster. It's nice that it just drops us over to the, the, the different areas or things that are broken. That wasn't too bad. We, we kind of made a profit on that. That being said, however, comma, um, I do think it is uh, important that we get our, um, get our, both our infirmary and our safety office down. And given this influx of money, I think it would be prudent and, well, kind of, I don't want to say required, but they're, they're going to expect that. Let's just put it that way. 
Now, can we, uh, without load-bearing pillars, cannot be removed, of course. Because I kind of want to just, like, put the foundation down here and make that load-bearing. But I don't know if it's going to let me do that. Um, in this case, you know what? We can make this like a little courtyardy type thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to loop you around out here. This gives us room to grow. We'll, I mean, this is more than enough room for, for these. It also takes this a while to, uh, to build itself. Once we circle around to the next round of schedules, we'll, like at the beginning of the next thing, we'll slot in both fire drills and earthquake drills so that the kids are better prepared for disasters like this. And once again, more bullying. Zafira, get on it. Humanities and Science Morning Session. Uh, Humanities and Mor Science Morning Session is a great way to st get a head start in the day's learning. Um, let's do the morning session for that. Now let's see if we can't make this work. Oh. So you guys don't need that. You guys do. Reading aloud is the best way to improve memory. Can make the study of humanities courses more efficient on the same day. Oh, baby. Uh, no? Huh. Oh, morning session. Duh. We just need to not do... Nice. So now this behooves us to uh, build out all of our things in the same slots here. Uh, meanwhile, we logic training, morning reading. Yeah, and then once we get the other ones, we get the those boosts up and that will help us out, especially with the humanities training. It's raining, which is good because it's better than the alternative of snowing and having all the students be freezing. I kind of, oh, and I just had to open my big fat mouth. Yeah, you're just barely under the comfortable temperature. I'm not going to go completely nuts on that. Y'all can soak up a debuff or two. Oh, did I never get the... Yeah, hang on. These these guys, however, do need... That'll do that better. Yeah, we needed to get those in there. Oh, and we have this area here too. Oh, 
All right, what is more important, the infirmary or the security office? Let's start with the security office. Uh, what's this one require? No, 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 no. All right, 18. We need 18. That's all I was looking for, game. Three times six is 18. All right, let's get you. All right, let's get to the bare minimum stuff here. We got the security window here. Uh, just right, just right, average. We get five more from security guard captain. We could eventually promote this, but first things first. Security, here we go. So we have a 28, that's not bad. Twenty-five. A little bit cheaper to hire, but all right. We will put you here. Oh, and we actually need an actual guard. So two people. Oh yeah, we also still need to train people. I guess we could grab Deborah. Oops. There we go. And yeah, you have enough management to manage one person. That's all we really want. Uh, we do need to give you... Oh, yeah, insufficient funds. All right, yeah, you're breaking that up. We also need to rearrange some management. the break room in under you yeah that that works barely <laughs> that's yeah we're gonna have to hold off on putting in the infirmary just from a managerial standpoint also I should have waited a day What are you talking about? You guys have a heater. Well, most of them. All right, looks like the teacher is auto reprimanding. Well, I guess one of the uh, one of the things that the uh, security does is that it, it, it seems to auto assign teachers to break up delinquencies, which is handy. Yes, yes, sad music. Everyone's sad because it's nasty weather and I can't afford the heaters yet. Just come back to school tomorrow and we'll have some some heaters. Probably going to need a heater in this big open space, which will slowly get filled with proper rooms. Oh, well, no, never mind. 
we probably spent a bit more aggressively than we could have. Student application. Oh, this will help us out immensely. Um, so we're going to assign you And then we're going to take you three all in. And assign you. Oh boy, okay. Milena. Yeah, this puts two of you out of sorts here. Uh, we're going to need to train up Milena in management. But we're not going to have the money for it yet. Oof. It's going to be dicey. Uh, we need to get a thousand bucks. Oh, there's a thousand bucks. Okay. Okay. Let's, before it is even fully deposited into the bank account. You will be done by the end of the day. So this will just be a temporary solution. I saw some misbehaving. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the reading, the reading ones. <laughs> well, hey, if it boosts the humanities, uh, I'll take it. Yeah, I know you're stressed. Well, we're working on it. I know we are balanced on like a razor's edge here. But just hold on till exams and you guys will be fine. Oop. Reprimand. And granted, when the teacher is stressed, the discipline drops like a rock. So this is going to be problem central. Hmm. This doesn't auto uh, oh, always automatically assign it. All right. Well, we're making a fair bit of cash back. We're on day four. Aha. All right, we got that morning session going. Um, I do want the bike bicycle shed to get more students coming in, but that's we're not going to be able to make use of that until later. I'm trying to think what might be a a cheap improvement. Um, cafeteria, while not necessarily cheap, has the ability to make us more money and also improve satisfaction. On the flip side, we could go for more advanced classes. Actually, we should probably do that. Let's go for humanities and sciences. Oh, so I'm glad the temperature is up to a reasonable level. Yeah, you guys are still cold though. My worry is that if we, um, if we buy that right now and then we end the day, although, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll give it to them.
That way they'll warm up. Oop, and you are causing problems. Reprimand. Huh. Oh, okay, speed reader is the temporary one. That works. Twenty-two of thirty-three. Good to go on day, like halfway through day four. That's not too bad. Oh yeah. Um. So it's not worth it for here, but what we can do, morning jog, we'll boost them, and then vocal practice, we'll boost them. Beautiful. Oh, this is an actual drop, drop down, drag out fight. Um, Harold Scott is researching. We're going to call security here. Wow. Demerits all around. We dropped a hammer on him. Well, not exactly. We're, getting, we're still not expelling because we need the money. Perhaps when we are swimming in cash, the repeat offenders can get get the boot. We also should be getting our um, training in. Almost done with the training. In which case, both of our departments are getting stressed. Problems will be uh, will be taken care of. Like clockwork, like clockwork. Senate, you know what to do. Ooh. Admit. I'll take the extra student. Especially that, that that five point increase in management skills should cover everything. Gotcha. Reprimand. Come on. You're not gonna finish training till after this period, are you? Well, at least it'll help give you a chance to de-stress, yeah. And another fight. Man, I wonder if there's a high score for demerits. All right. That made all of our management problems go away. Now that Milena can handle her class, our manager can handle theirs, and the headmaster is not uh, problematic. Now granted, we're either gonna need more middle management courses or higher skilled managers in order to get more stuff. I think when we, when, when we get to the next year where we need to get to year three and we need to split out even more classes, we're gonna need another management department entirely. So it may be prudent just to save up our money. But our exhausted teachers should have a chance to relax and de-stress. Nope, teacher's already on it. Wonder if there's an achievement for, for number of demerits. Uh, 
All right, well, we're back up to high. Thank, thanks partially into, into the cooperation of the weather. All right. Yeah, everyone go home, rest, relax, recuperate. And I promise not to build out more buildings or departments. We are making, technically speaking, we are making $1,000 a day which is not too bad. Of course, little influxes of cash here and there will accelerate our stuff. Like, for example, the stuff we get from exams. Let's get you reprimanded so that you can actually learn. And every single day, like clockwork. Thirty-two of thirty-four, the intermediate humanities classes get. I mean, another training room would be nice. In fact, I should be training people, but I just don't really have the money for it right now. Um, we could do superior teaching. You know what? Let's do management upgrade. Aha, we've got two frogs. <laughs> That's it. We got two frogs. Um, and I don't think, yeah, two frogs worth of contraband points ain't going to cut it. For any useful item, so. Not much we can do here. Despite all the bullying, our, our campus is fairly contraband free. I say that as we have a frog. Well, I didn't have my fire drills yet. What caught? Oh yeah, that would that would catch. Of course. All right, good. They they got the buckets and are putting it out before it spreads. I don't know. I think they got to it quickly enough. You guys got another like 6,000 bucks? For, for disaster preparedness for me. I, I could use that. I can't build, I'm glad none of the students were hurt because we can't afford an infirmary nor the management to support it. Well, we'll just tell them to go fly a kite. You got burn injuries, just walk it off. It's It's fine, it's fine. You've got the exams to study for. And thank you, Fire, for breaking out during a recess period and not interrupting classes. That was very courteous of you. Dana Black gets the research certificate. Excellent. Oop, hang on. You're the naughty one. You only have one demerit, so I can't boot you. I think if you go for the full punish, it gives them a demerit. Also, I realized that there's no... Oh no, there is a roof. It, it's just boardwalk. I was about to say, like, are they just going out in the open? But no, no. Just a trick of the perspective. You're still moderately stressed, Zafira. Why? Okay. 
All right. So is or is it not? Oh, wait. No, they're on top of the... Oh, that's actually a pretty nice little thing that has no safety railings. Um, <laughs> well, we can't really afford safety railing, kids, so just be careful when you're up there, please. All right. We are approaching the point of no return. We are 34 of 34. Uh, rudimentary sports certificate. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Oh, yeah. Um, we probably should keep training, especially since we're going to get an influx of cash. Um, we're going to just need to... Yeah, Santa, let's get you more base teaching proficiency. We want everybody up high enough to handle it. <laughs> We're going to send the chef. We're going to send Cameron the chef to confiscate the frog. <laughs> well, you kids are complaining about the menu being too... Uh, being too, too, uh, samey, I got a solution to two problems for you. Don't do it again. Or do. And goes right to the cooker. Mmm, <laughs> frog legs. I've actually had frog legs once. They're not bad. For, for all the, the joke and angst that some people give them. They're, they're, they're not too bad. More cats. Ooh, I don't think we have this this kind. All right, what shall we call it? We'll call you strategy, and then one more cat, and we'll get, call it tactics. Ooh, big line at the store. Like to see that. Don't like to see that. And yeah, I guess if the fight happens within like, all right, so kids, if you're going to bully someone, don't do it in like the headmaster's office while he's there, along with like half the teaching staff. Maybe find a different spot. Mm, line at the men's room. Um, no comment. All right, let's see how exams go. All right, everyone passed. 21 of our 24 students got full marks and seven of our 10 uh, bad side of the track students got full marks. That's really good. 124 points of exam scores. Yes. We are officially two points ahead of unknown school. Yes. A for excellent. Oh, baby, look at that financial reward. Now that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. All right, back up to 100, and we're up to 70 with the bad side of the tracks, kids, which means even more students. Studying is hard, but enjoyable event. May students remain passionate about their studies. So that's the end of the festival. And because we completed it, we get extra points, uh, extra contribution points. Okay. Uh, Christmas. 
two thousand bucks. Build the snowman. Halloween. Or more study week. Um, I'm not going to. I mean, two thousand bucks is two thousand bucks. I'm more a Halloween guy, so we'll go Halloween. Hand out ca ha Halloween candy to six students. What do we got here? Sakura High. Students of Theater Boulevard are so talented, I'm a little jealous. However, I believe my students can showcase their full potential. May we both improve. So I think that means they're trying to poach students from, from Theater Boulevard from us. So Sakura High, we can praise them, denounce them, or do an intra-school. Wang's construction sells architectural plans and... Oh, this is how we train their ability to learn. All right, so we have we have some we have some expansion to do here. So in our next episode, we uh, I, actually I don't think we prepare for the next uh, sets of classes, correct? Because they have one more week. Yeah, one more week. Um, but we still need to maintain everything. We did get a lot of contribu contribution points. And we're close to getting that one again, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, but more on that next time. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Pinstar signing out. See ya.